Uh, let me start playing. But hey, guys, it's Key and it's Key Life Trading. Thanks for tuning into another video. So I'm by my window. So if it sound weird, don't pay no mind. And plus, my kids is in the living room playing around, making a bunch of noise. But anyway, let's get back to business. So today we're ending the day on a green day, right? So today I traded GROV. Good trade, which I got in a little bit earlier, but I didn't. I was trying to be safe, but rather safe than sorry. And I made 600 and some change. I was looking to make a grand and change, but it is what it is. I got a piece of the pie, took my stuff and got out of there. Easy, one, two, three. So I took one trade and that was it. And I'm gonna try to keep my trades at one trade per day, get up and leave and just enjoy my day. And that's how I'm gonna try to keep it. But we're gonna lock in. I'm gonna do a review of how I traded it, my thought process and all the good stuff. So. Please, guys, smash that like button, smash that um, subscribe button. Love you guys. Keep showing me some love. It's Key Life Trade. Let's jump in. Hey, guys, we're back. We're on the computer. We're going to go over the trade that I took on GROV. I'm going to speak what I was thinking and all that good stuff. So in the morning, the first stock I was looking at to trade because I've been planning on trading the stock for a couple of days now was AMC. I was looking for the setup. So... AMC did totally opposite of what I wanted to do in the early morning, but after it started to do exactly what I wanted it to do, and I was very upset. You guys should know when you have a plan and it goes against you before, and then it switch around and then start going in the right direction that you wanted to go. But anyways, after that, I started looking around. I was looking at different stocks. I was looking at GROV. I was also looking at, what is KAL? I was looking at some other ones, R-I-O-T, I-S-P-C, and a bunch of different stocks. And I had GRV on my sidebar. I have a have another screen with a couple um, charts there that I put other stocks that I want to keep on watch in those um, charts. So I put it to the side, and I started watching it. And then after a while, I started to put these um, support and resistant line. So I seen that. GROV popped up all the way to 719. I think it was 719. No, 718. Sorry. And then we got the pullback. So once I seen this, I was getting ready to actually pull the trigger. But because we had a big rip up like this and a small pullback like this, I was very iffy. So I was looking and I seen that it was holding levels, the levels of 660. It went under 660 and it came back up. So what I was looking for, I was looking for a small pullback and then a rip up. And it kept going and grinding, grinding higher. This, let me show you on the one minute chart where this was. So this happened right here. So this, this, um, this big green continuation right here, this is right here on the one minute chart. The pullback right here is right here. And then a little consolidation right here is right here. So I was looking for a red pullback, a red candle, then a bounce off the EMA and then rip up. But I didn't get that. And I was iffy because I didn't want to jump in and the stock wasn't fully rested. And then, I, you know, I caught a bad trade and it started to flush, but it ripped and went without me. So then I seen that it went all the way up to 740. And I was thinking this stocks look a, um, a little bit strong and I want to take a trade. So I got in right here on the one minute, right here at 7.30, 7.33, and it went up, tested 7.50, and I was waiting for the um, the 750 to actually break, but it didn't. It, it tested one time, two times, three times. So the third time it failed, it came back down. I wasn't panicking because I know there was some support down here. Let me show you where that was. This was, um, where was this? This was basically around here. So I know there was some support at 7.18, and i was like i'm fine with it going down it came down it started consolidating and after that more buys started to come in and it started to pop up after that it went straight to 750 and it didn't break and i still kept my calm kept my composure i know there's support down here so it pulled back a little bit and i was waiting for the next leg up so it came up and it finally broke the 750 it went up a little bit more, up to I think the high of 769, which I do have a resistant area. It's at 760, but 
even though it didn't hit the actual 769, um, the 60 was still a big um, part of the price action, right? So it broke it, came back down, and then it started to flush. And that's when I took my profit right here. So the reason why I took profit early is because I, I felt like it was getting over extended in terms of and it kept trying the 750 and we was having a hard time breaking that 750 so the fact that it kept doing that and we got the feel and had a feeling let me just take profit and then you know walk away my goal was to make a grand but i didn't make a grand but it's okay you can't beat yourself up all the time as long as i took profit or as long as you take profit that's all that matters that's the game that we play and as you can see, it's ripping right now. So after that, I walked away from the computer. I was playing with my kids. It came down all the way back down and it started grinding again. And as you can see, it started grinding back up. And if you look at it right here, if I was in a trade over here from where I was, so 730 and it went all the way up here, this would have probably been a $2,000 trade, but it is what it is. I'm not complaining, a little bit upset, like I said, but I'm not complaining. I'm very, I'm, I'm okay with the amount of money I made. And as you can see, it's right here, $636 and 91 cents. I'm perfectly fine with that. And I'm gonna move on and wait for another day. Remember we can trade another day. So even if you don't trade today or you don't trade tomorrow, you'll always have other days to trade. So do not force your trades guys, do not force it. So next week I will be taking Another trade I think I might take tomorrow off. Tomorrow will be an off day for me. So next week I will be trading again. And we'll see how next week treat us. You know, I was a little bit upset about the AMC trade. Let me show you guys my AMC setup. I had AMC plot out to the T. So on my daily chart, I was looking for AMC to actually come a little bit down here and retest this low right here off um 1216 and it didn't and as you can see i have a ascending um support line and as you can see amc have been touching it and respecting it touching it and respecting it so i was thinking that today this candle which is green now was going to come down retest either this um 1216 or test 12 and then reverse and then we get the rip up but it went without me i was so upset so if I would have took that trade, I would have been up, up 2000 and some change as well. And as you can see, I have this already pre um, pre prepped and in the open market, it opened up and it went straight to um, 1219. It went straight to 1290 and I already had this prepared. So I knew this was going to be resistant. It came down and it kept consolidating. So I'm thinking that it's making lower lows and I'm thinking that it's going to actually fall and keep going down but it held up it broke that 1290 and then if you can see it retests 1290 a little bit right here bounced up and after that it was gone after that it went straight all the way to the high of 1460 but you know we're gonna win some we're gonna lose some we're gonna miss trades we're gonna take trades so it's a part of the game guys you know right now i'm finished for the day i'm gonna walk away go to the park have some fun with my kids and enjoy the rest of my day so guys thanks for tuning in and if you want to find out how i trade i have a discord that's down below in the description so if you want you can follow me we're gonna go over we're gonna go over a bunch of different things we're gonna have pre-market prep you can you can see me trade live i'll give you alerts on prices or what i'm looking at i also will offer one-on-one -on -one, you know consultation with each other with people go over their trades see where they're lacking where they need help where they need to focus some more on so there will be a link in the bottom for my discord you know it's up to you you can join if you want it's very reasonable thanks guys and please also watch my videos i have a lot of educational videos on my youtube so even the ones when i'm showing you my recap you can learn from those soon i will be showing some live trades but for now it's just going to be recaps but you know show me some love please smash that like button smash that subscribe button it's key life trading i'm out peace